Good morning. Happy Sunday. How y'all doing? Decided I would jump on here, see if there's a message for the collective. I ask that only the messages that are for the highest good of all come through, even if they're not the most pleasant to hear, but that they're for the upliftment of all who are tuning in, for our growth, for our evolution, for our ascension into higher consciousness. I ask that my ego be stepped aside so that the divine can work through me as a vessel, as a clear channel. I think what I'm going to do is just, I've got a few decks out here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to do a little hodgepodge and see what happens. I should not touch the camera, should I? Uh-oh. I'm going to put it back. Okay. I really want to try not to start over. <clears throat> so this first one is the Star Dragons deck. If you've seen my other videos, it pairs a dragon with a constellation and delivers a message through the um, energy of that constellation. Let's see if one more wants to come out. I think what I'll do too is I'm just going to pull several cards from all these decks and I'll show them to you individually, but then I want to see if I can pick up on an overall message for us. So I've been using these cards um, for several years on my own, but I'm kind of new to doing this publicly, at least on a regular basis. So, um, you know, uh, I'm taking this as a way to practice and to hone the intuition. I always encourage you to take the messages that you receive from the images, from the numbers, from the words I say, to get your own message because then you're also strengthening your intuition instead of just listening to what I say. Okay, I don't think any more of those want to come out. Let's look at this first. It's the first card of the deck, vision, contemplating the future. So I love how she's, she's just sitting sort of in a relaxed, contemplative mode her dragon standing guard. That's awesome. Let's see what constellation it is really quick. Get the little booklet. Y'all can tell I don't have a script. I don't prepare <laughs> in any way for these. Okay, let's see. Number one. Constellation is lupus, which is the wolf. And the star is Kikuan, Alpha Lupi. Wisdom of the Herald. What is your place in the stars? And what is your future? Sometimes it's difficult to discern, but gazing out into the great unknown is worthwhile nonetheless. Develop your vision and gaze out into your future to harness your knowledge on the path that best serves you. Open your eyes with innocence and wonder. Wisdom of the dragon. Gaze forth with eyes that pierce into the veil of the very galaxy and know that the answer to each question you ask can be found in your mind's eye. Look within. You have a mighty vision and ability to see what comes next. Tap into your intuitive powers. That's what we just talked about. The star dragon invocation. Seek and you will find. Go on a vision quest and harness your ability to gaze into the future with confidence. Now is the time to contemplate and harness your wisdom for the great journey ahead. It's a beautiful one to start with. Okay. This is another one of the kids decks that I got for my daughter, but I really love them. This is the magical unicorn deck. And they've just got really sweet messages. I'm all about the um, soothing and nurturing the inner child. You know, it's really funny. Um, well, it's funny to me. I have an Aries moon, so 
<clears throat> I was looking through some old childhood pictures. <laughs> My inner child <laughs> was like a little freaking tyrant emperor. <laughs> So soothing my inner child is like telling her, you don't have to be in control of everything. You don't have to be in charge. You don't have to be responsible for everything. You know, the empire is not going to fall if you don't have your hands in every single little thing. You can trust others. You can delegate. <laughs> so my, uh, my inner child is pretty, pretty interesting. Aries is also like the pioneer and the adventurer and stuff. And I was always getting the kids in my neighborhood. <laughs> my inner child's kind of like, um, maybe I've hidden away parts of my inner child because I realized like the power and how easily I could convince people like other children to do what I wanted. So I would be like, let's go down in that ditch you know, and let's build a fort and we won't tell any of the adults and this is where we'll come every day. And, you know, I was like, I mean, not putting people in danger, but I was definitely always suggesting um, things to do that we couldn't tell the adults about. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Let's see what the unicorns want to tell us. Come on, unicorns. All right. One more shuffle and I'm just going to cut it if nothing pops out. You are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented. Look at that beautiful gold and white sort of braided hair. I love it. So viewer, don't forget, you are gifted, you're talented. Each of us was endowed with gifts from spirit and it's just about believing and tapping in. Let's see bottom of the deck. Worth waiting for. Your patience will be rewarded. So beautiful. It doesn't really need any explanation. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to the Power Animal Oracle. See what's up. Have you guys been seeing any animals repeatedly in your environment? I've been seeing um, a lot of hawks. A ton of crows or ravens. I can never tell the difference. I think ravens are bigger, right? A lot of those. I took a little video of a squirrel in the tree this morning. Um, I have a lot of trees in my yard and they all have, you know, really ample amount of branches for the squirrels to chase each other on and run and play. And it's always fun in the morning to watch them. I haven't seen a hummingbird come back. I was seeing white, um, those little tiny white butterflies the other day. That was really prominent. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love you, spirit. Uh, several flew down and look at the first two. <laughs> two of the animals I just mentioned. Hawk and hummingbird. So focus and joy. I can't read backwards. Let me see what it says. Choose your priorities and eliminate all distractions. And joy, lighten up. That's probably why I haven't seen a hummingbird yet. Because I've been like, <sighs> so stressed. I don't know why. I mean, I do, but... I gotta let it go, let it go. I gotta tell that little emperor inside me to cool it. Stop being like Napoleon. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> oh 
my god, I'm amusing myself today. I hope you guys are getting something from this. <laughs> Several fell out. Moose, authority. You know what's best for you, collective. You do. You do, you do, you do. Moose is like solid, right? Like, ooh. I know what's best for me. Butterfly. I mentioned butterflies too. So three out of the five of these I mentioned. That's amazing. Get ready for a big breakthrough. Transformation. Are you feeling the cocoon is getting too tight? Ah, I gotta get out. I gotta spread my wings. <laughs> Bust through it, collective. And dove, uh, serenity. Slow down, pause, and breathe. <sighs> Thank you, animals. I gotta look at the bottom of the deck. Owl, omens, pay attention to signs. Nice. This one is the Lightworker Oracle. This was maybe the first deck I got. It's um, Alana Fairchild. And I believe the artwork is Autumn Sky Morrison, who's one of my favorites. No, this one is Mario Duguay. But I've had this deck for a long time. Not that you asked. <laughs> I'm sharing. Oh goodness. I think doing these videos actually really helps my mood because it gets me out of my head and gets me speaking. So I know it's helping me. I hope it's helping somebody else out there too because I love you guys and you know we gotta we gotta walk each other home, right? Paradigm shift number four. These images are so captivating. I'm going to give you a second to look at it. So this door is opening. We've got some sacred symbols or some sort of hieroglyphs around it. She's naked, which represents to me like being stripped, you know, that whole ego death and all the layers of personality and fears and insecurities and, um, you know, subconscious programming and beliefs and all that. And it gets stripped away and we feel naked and vulnerable. But in that state is when the door starts to crack open and a new paradigm beckons. I think with that one, I want to look at the, um, she does some beautiful prayers and invocations at the end of each description. Okay, let's see what this one is. Okay, so I'm going to read this first part, which is just a little short paragraph, and then I'm going to read the closing prayer. You are undergoing radical growth in your belief systems. Now is the time to challenge old attitudes and question previous expectations. You are in an extraordinary time. Great leaps forward can be made in a moment. The world you thought you knew can suddenly break open and a new world can become your reality. Okay, let's see what the prayer is. So the invocation is, let me make sure y'all can see this. Through divine grace and unconditional love, I open my mind to the higher truth of love. May my mind be cleansed from conditioning and gently open to the light of love. I am willing to unlearn what no longer serves me. I am willing to receive teachings and information 
guidance and assistance from those beings of pure light and unconditional love that can assist me on my life journey now. May my paradigm shift bring me closer to peace, love, empowerment, and happiness. May this process be held in guardianship by the universe with grace, mercy, and tenderness. Through my own free will, so be it. I love that. I kind of want to end on that. Yeah, that feels right. That feels complete. <sighs> Sending you lots of love for your Sunday. I hope that your day is filled with something magical, a feeling, an event, a conversation, an insight, an awareness, um, maybe something small like not too long ago at the park, I looked down and there was this little bracelet that says magic. It's little things like that that, you know, just give you that pause and, and to say, I'm connected to something greater and all of us are. It's just about recognizing it and appreciating it. So love from my heart to yours. See you soon. Bye.